That's it, no, yeah. It's, it's, I think we're going to say the same thing. It's ex exactly what we were all thinking. Yeah, and, and it's, that's certainly the case in the Sac Valley tonight. Parchment undefeated went to Schoolcraft. Huge game, huge crowd. Panthers not only playing for the outright Sac Valley crown, but trying to keep their undefeated go season going. 14-2 Eagles looking to split the conference title. First quarter, it's Parchment building the lead. Aaron J.C. Hack for three. The six-point Panthers lead. Second quarter, though, we're all knotted up when Tyler DeGroote goes to work inside, finds Asher Kuhalski for the three. Eagles up three and they're building on it. But third quarter, Schoolcraft with an eight-point lead. Here comes Tony Williams and he's gonna find Kofi Barima. Barima led Parchment tonight with 13 points. Got the hoop and the harm there. Fourth quarter, Eli DeVisser going to DeGroote. This was Tyler DeGroote's night. He had 22 points to lead everybody. Schoolcraft hands Parchment their first loss, 49-45. It's a split for the Sac Valley Conference Championship. For Skorsky with more from the Happy Bunch of Eagles. When these two teams met in early December, Parchment got the win. They held the edge in the conference race coming into this one, and they got off to an early lead in the first quarter. But Schoolcraft hung in there. Tyler DeGroote chipped in 22 for the Eagles as they get the win here tonight. I'm so excited. I mean, coming into this game, we worked hard all week. We, heard, we, we were preparing for this game. We weren't really thinking about it until this, until like before the game, but we were really, we were really pumped up for this game. We're excited to win. It's so much fun, such a great teammates, and they know who to get to give the ball when they're hot. So, I mean, we should have such a great team that it's so much fun to play with them. I think uh, understanding how important every possession is with that team there, you have to be uh, on top of your game defensively because they can really break you down off the bounds. You know, we hadn't been home for a while until last week, so it's good to get some home cooking, but also the crowd. This is what high school sports, especially small town sports, is all about. Not only is this a big win for Schoolcraft here tonight because they get at least a share of the conference championship, this is also a big game to build momentum heading into the playoffs, learning to play and win in some of these big games as they look to make a long postseason run. From Schoolcraft High School, I'm Chris Gorski for the Fox 17 Blitz. Well, the last time Holden and